Yo, what's going on guys? It is Pwn here, and we're bringing you guys the next Nuke With Every Gun show. You guys excited? I am. We've got the intervention with FMJ rocking out here on Afghan. Oh, get your troll faces on. Pwn, that's the Wa 2000, Pwn. That's, that's not the intervention troll face inserted. No. Oh my god, guys. Um, Just to let you guys know ahead of time before people start, you know, there are probably 10 of you guys typing already. Pwn, that's not the intervention. I I'm, I'm, I'm aware of what's going on. I see that weird creepy little face in the tongue out. He's dead. That that's obviously a sign of the Wa 2000. Guys, guys, guys! I went ahead and uh, decided to make a sex change mid game and pull out the intervention. The reason for being is uh, the same reason for why I told you guys not to noob tube. Uh, when people do something wrong to you, what do you do? You do it back, or you want to do it bigger? That's just how it is. It's how the world works. It's just what it is. Um, what it comes down to is. You know me and Afghan. I love Afghan. It's one of the easiest maps to nuke on. Probably one of the best to nuke on. Um, I'm pretty confident that nine times out of ten, I hop on this map. If I have the nuke on, I can get it. And and I I can say that on this map, maybe not any other, but I'm really confident in it. So why not put one of the most difficult guns to get a nuke with on the map that I'm most comfortable with? Yeah, probably promotes the best odds of getting it. Oh yeah, I know. So what happens is I start doing it, and then I start noticing these next. You know, so you think you can snipe uh, fucking competitors are in here. And, and and they're all trying to run across being quick scope me and shit. So obviously, naturally, I've got to go ahead and fight fire with fire because it's the same reason why I told you guys not to noob tube respond to. But as soon as you start doing that, guess what? Two more people are gonna do it because they get pissed and they want to do it right back to you. So you know that's just what it is. Somebody kicks you in the back of the throat, you want to fucking kick them right back. You know what I mean? I don't even know if there is a back. There's obviously a back of the throat, guys. But I don't know if you can actually do that. I mean, kick the neck, but. That's that's a challenge right there, guys. I know, right? Maybe, maybe we have another challenge after this weight loss one. See if you can kick somebody in the back of the throat. That'd be pretty cool. Um, and as you guys can tell, you know, I'm getting pooped on. They start quick scoping me, and that's like the second time, and I'm like, really? So I decided to go ahead and whip out the intervention. And I know that this map is is so and so, and I know the Wa 2000 is an is a comfortable gun with the sniping. I mean, it's just it, it can be accurate if you know how to use it. You can quick scope with it. But with the hit detection and the damage and everything involved in it, it's not a reliable gun. It's not like I'm going to run around and get quad kill feeds with the Wa 2000. <laughs> Burps. Shut up, phone. Uh, but that's just what it, that's what it comes down to. So they started doing it on me, and I wanted to start doing it on them because I just did it on them. And uh, <laughs> I love that song. I don't know why. I, uh, I I love I love running around with the intervention. It's fun to do. I'm not saying I'm skilled or anything like that. I'm not saying I can quick scope for a damn but, you know, I, li I like to think I can, just like any other Grizz fan out there. Um, and I have a lot of fun sniping, and, and I just, and I was even more, I had that mentality that I really wanted to get these guys back, because I wanted, I'm like, I wanted the Y2000, you're going to make me settle for the intervention. And the collateral, but he survived it because he had painkiller, or whatever the hell it was called. And uh, I I love using the snipers, and Afghan, and that's one of the things, is, is I love sniping, and there's so many good maps for it. I mean, you've got anything from Derail, Wasteland, Afghan... There's so many good maps to actually use a sniper on this, but they're not all considered wide open maps. Like that's what I'm trying to hope that they avoid doing in the next game. I hope they like cut out maps that are like huge, like wasteland and and derail. Now, like Afghan, for example, there are a lot of close combat situations. Guns can guns can hold up on this map, not so much on derail and stuff like that. Guns really hold up on this map, and that's what I really like about it, is because even though this is a big map, there are a lot of situations, a lot of debris, obviously a down fucking plane is obviously a good sign of, you know, cover. It actually allows this map to be a, a decent gun map, not not only a sniping or distance, it could be anything. I could run around with the MP5K on this map and be successful. Now, that's what I want to see in the next Call of Duty. I want to see where there's not just giant, wide-open maps that you need to snipe with, like... If they're not using a noob tube on Wasteland, it's probably a sniper nine times out of ten. That's just how it is. And I don't want to see a map that's that's devoted straight and entirely to one set certain gun. I mean, you could use a sniper on Summit or whatever if you want. I know it's Black Ops, don't kill me. But in the end, even though that you do use it on Summit, it, it's it's still meant for something smaller, but you can use anything on it. Now now it's not not it's it's easy to use a sniper and clown around and try to get some cool shots on a small map, but it's not easy to use a small gun to get you know, be successful on a big map. You know what I mean? It's it's kind of not like the same way around. 
And that's what I hope they like really, really look into in the next one. I want to see not necessarily smaller maps, I just more close combat situations. It really, it really means a lot to me when I when I can actually do that kind of stuff. So now that this is all kicking off, we're finally back nuke. You know how easy it is, and you start obliterating these guys, and then you get that feeling of satisfaction after you went in here and you tore these guys up because they were just sniping you and it pissed you off so much, and then you get all this revenge on them, and then I get stuck back there. Oh boy, I love this map for the chopper gunner. It's nasty. You can go up to like 40 kills for each gunner. It's it's like incredible, especially if you've got them trapped at like A or C. It's just it's phenomenal. So, and now that's all done, I was just trying to have some fun, trying to get this stuff together. But I was also paying attention. There was another guy on our team that was trying to go for a nuke, and 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 the reason for being is why I didn't call it in, you know, already. And that that's what I did. I was trying to be nice, and I was just trying to let it go. And and he was going for a nuke, and I was going to let him do it. I was going to let him call it in. It's not a big deal to me, you know what I mean? Obviously, it's, it's about the video, and as long as I have it, I don't care if I call it in or not. I mean, that double nuke fail on Afghan, you know, like last week or whatever it was. I went ahead and did that and didn't even get to call the damn thing in. So it's it's not like I'm going to lose sleep over it or anything like that. It's not going to kill my boner. It's just I, I wanted to help out. I wanted to do something cool. So in the meantime, you just get to see me run around and do nothing successful. And, uh... You know that's 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 one of those things is is teamwork. That's 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 why I always like enjoy Call of Duty is because no matter what you do, no matter you know who you know, you know this game is 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 developed around teamwork. That's why I don't like free for alls. That's why I'm not in that free for all commentator showdown coming up. Um, I think a game like Call of Duty is meant to be team based. It's meant to be you know domination, TDM, something where there's a lot of guys together. So that's that's just my honest intention. That's what I honestly feel about it. So. I, I've always I've always enjoyed you know the map to gun balance the gun to gun balance I've always enjoyed using snipers and stuff like that I've always enjoyed the balance in between maps and I hope they incorporate that in the up to coming maps oh my god I'm gonna be so excited that's that's like one of the things I'm anticipating everybody's like I don't want to see this I don't want to see that I'm focusing on what I want to see I would like to see stuff like that so many people are like I don't want one man army commando that stuff's gone now. So what I want you guys to do in the comments below, tell me what you guys would like to see. What, would you, what, what kind of additions would make you happier in pants if you actually saw them incorporated in the next Modern Warfare 3, guys? So get back to me. Let me know what you think. Let me know what your favorite sniper is, too, because I want to start maybe getting some gameplays together. If you like the 50 cal more, then maybe I'll get some of that. Let